Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more Emma Rung stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. I was at my brother's house when my sister-in-law went into labor. They live in the countryside, so the signal isn't too great sometimes, unless they walk up the lane, so my brother was supposed to take her to the hospital instead of calling an ambulance, but for some reason, he decided to freak out and drive off somewhere. I can't drive, so I ran up the lane to call 999. It took forever to get signal, and then it took forever for the ambulance to get to the house. I almost had to deliver the baby. She ended up giving birth in the back of an ambulance. The whole time, my brother had just disappeared. He finally turned up at the hospital about 8 hours later after he disappeared. Apparently he'd gone to our dad's house until dad found out my sister-in-law gave birth and made my brother go see her. I yelled at him outside the hospital for being so stupid. He told me that he just got so scared and didn't know what to do. I told him that he's going to be a shit dad if he keeps reacting like this. What's he going to do when the kid gets injured and it's his responsibility to take him to A&E? Is he just going to dump the kid and run off to dad's again? He's such an idiot. He started crying and called me a twat for being so mean to him. I just lost it with him. He was acting like a child when he should be comforting his wife and apologizing to her for being a dick. He called me a cunt and told me that I don't understand what he's feeling. I get that he was scared, but seriously, he needs to get a grip and help his wife. Yeah, this person definitely isn't wrong. Like, he literally needs to yell at his brother for him to wake up. That doesn't even make sense. You know, my wife is about to give birth. I'm just going to disappear for eight hours and not drive her to the hospital. You know what? Someone else can do it. Hello? Hello? If I'm about to give birth and I'm so scared and I need to get to the hospital and then my husband just runs off somewhere. Oh, you know what? Divorce. <laughs> Divorce. That just really shows someone's true colors though. Because imagine them not being able to be there for you. When you could die, literally. And he knew his wife was about to give birth, but he was still gone for eight hours until his dad made him go to the hospital. Like, is he okay? Like, even if he's scared to be a parent, whatever, you should still go see your wife. Yeah, idiot. You're not the one giving birth, bro. Oh my god, pisses me off. Like, why is he overreacting more than his wife is? Like, your wife is the one in pain, and you're here crying because you left her for eight hours? Piss off. All right, moving on. I'm a wildlife biologist. I have a master's degree in wildlife conservation and I'm hoping to go for my doctorate soon. I have worked in this field since I was 16 and I'm very passionate about it. When visiting my family recently for Easter, my mom asked me to tell the family a little bit about work. I was very excited to talk about my current research. Here's where the issue comes in though. My father would respond to almost everything I said with, hmm, I don't know about that. At first I tried to ignore it, but it just didn't stop. Eventually I responded with, well, I do, given the two degrees and all. I responded in a light, playful tone, but he did not take it well at all. He immediately accused me of being disrespectful. I responded, I'm sorry, but it's disrespectful of you to insinuate that you know more than I do about my field. Dinner got pretty quiet after that. I finished the meal, helped with the dishes, and said goodbye before leaving. But on the ride home, I got a phone call from my mother asking me why I felt the need to aggravate my father and why I had to talk back. I'm a 28-year-old professional. This was insane to me. That's dad's for ya, though. Honestly, they just think they know everything, okay? And how crazy is it that this person is just, you know, correcting their father and that's talking back? Seriously, I hate that so much. Oh my gosh, like what's the point then? What's the point sitting at dinner and talking if I'm not even allowed to talk? If I'm not even allowed to have my own opinions, then what's the point, right? Like don't talk during dinner then if you don't want anyone to talk. Seriously, some dads just have like an ego thing where they just have to be the one to be right. All right, jeez, this is how your kids hate you. I have lived in my house for five years now. It is an old bungalow in an older neighborhood. It's small and old fashioned, but it is perfect for me and my dog. I have a massive backyard. Every house that gets sold around here now is turned into a duplex or two skinny homes. The corner lots get turned into six or eight plexes. I have a rescue border collie, Dennis. He needs lots of exercise, but he can't handle a lot of other people or dogs. He walks either very late at night or early in the morning. When he starts getting hyper, I can take him to my yard and play with him until he is worn out. He's never allowed to be by himself back there. Because I have lots of flowers planted and he's a destructive asshole. I recently got a new neighbor. They also have a dog. 
Over the winter, their dog kept digging under the fence and running around my yard. The home was owned by an older couple who completely turned the yard into an ornamental garden with raised flower beds and paved paths. Not a lot of running room. I went and talked to them about us figuring out a way to keep their dog out of my yard since I did not want to be hurt or responsible if something happened. They said their dog was just exploring. I said we needed to get a contractor to put in a buried barrier or something. They said that they were not interested. I said that they could put paving stones against their side so their dog couldn't dig. They said that would look awful compared to the rest. Well, it's spring now. Their dog got into my yard and ate a bunch of flowers, including chrysanthemums. Toxic but not fatal, thank god. They got a massive vet bill though, equivalent to a monthly mortgage payment. They want me to put in half since I poisoned the dog. I told them I felt badly for the dog, but they were deluded if they thought I owed them anything. They were lucky I wasn't going after them for the damage to my yard. We are not speaking now. They are furious, but the neighbors around us are on my side. I know I could afford it, and they are a young couple with lots of debt, but I warned them. Yeah, this person did nothing wrong. I mean, like, what the hell? They're just such bad pet owners. Like, you're letting your dog run around in someone else's yard? And you're not watching them? Bro, bad owners. Bad, bad owners. Seriously, I freaking hate dog owners who just think, my dog's just playing, it's fine, it, it won't hurt. Uh Alright, moving on. I was getting married to my now husband and my mother-in-law was invited to the wedding, of course. I got a strange feeling because she continued trying to pick a wedding dress for me when I had already picked one and said I did. I brushed it off as I was excited and all. She also tried to get her son to pick a large fancy cake that was only 20% cake. He said no as I told him we had already made all the arrangements, music, decorations, clothing. Fast forward the day of the wedding, we had our ceremony and everything went great. Food and service was amazing. He had an artist draw me and my husband while we kissed. I noticed my mother-in-law to be wearing a white simple dress and didn't think much of it, even though I was a little upset. To have a contact, she was the only one besides me wearing the colour. Later, when it was photo taking time, I was going to take a photo with my husband. We stood in front of the camera. We had no official previous photos besides the kiss. But my mother-in-law walked into the photo. I told her politely to get out a little so me and my husband could take photos with the professional first. She didn't listen and stayed in anyway. And my husband didn't say anything. A small update. I took one of our photos and photoshopped her out of it as I didn't have a chance to get a photo with him alone. I posted it on my Instagram and my mother-in-law texted me. She said I'm disrespectful and family comes first through everything. But I said that it was my wedding and I understood that but I wanted a photo with him alone and she did not allow that. My husband is upset with me for acting this way, saying I'm being dramatic. The husband is upset when she just wanted a photo with him alone. Like, they didn't even do that in real life. It's not even like she kicked the mother-in-law out in real life. She literally photoshopped a picture of them two so they could have them two alone in a picture. How do you have wedding photos and not have the two of you only? Imagine looking through photos and there's not one where you guys are together, the two of you. But the mother-in-law is always next to him. Oh. Oh, well. Jeez, the mother-in-law's a bit possessive. Seriously, what the hell? If that was me, bye. <laughs> I mean, you can get married to your mum, all right? Bye. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.